Sister Susie. Sister Susie sat on. Sister. For a year and I'd like to share with you my experiences so far and at the end of the video I'll have a read of some of your comments too. So this is my Invisalign journey so far. 54 sets of these in here. Um, I'm now on set 50 and I've got my rescan with the orthodontist in a couple of weeks time so I'll be keen to see what his thoughts are on the remainder of my treatment. I mean, In the end I'm really pleased with uh, the alignment that's happened in the last 365 days, as you'll see. Pretty good, I'm very pleased with that. So thinking about the highs and the lows of my 52 week journey so far, uh, the main one, the main high for me would be seeing the gap close. As you, <coughs> as you would have seen in my first video, uh, I was pretty distraught at having to have um, a tooth extracted, this one right here, and see that it's, the gap is just completely closed is, uh, is pretty incredible. Another high will be being told each week that you can move on to the next tray. I, I did dental monitoring every, uh, every seven days with my orthodontist, so I would send in um, through the app the, uh, the images of my teeth after a week of alignment, and he would then tell me whether I can proceed to the next tray or whether I should actually stay in them. Uh, maybe half a dozen times he would say actually you need to kind of carry on for another few days so rather than it being a seven day uh, changeover it would become 10 days. Seeing my smile change was, obviously, was the obvious high really that we all want is to see uh, a difference in our teeth. Um, I have just turned 50 years old and I've had my same smile now which, um, which I hated and you know if you look back at when I look back at old photos uh, you can see that I don't fully smile, um, whereas now I'm more up for smiling in photos as my uh, smile gets straighter. But I've been taking these photos uh, before and during to monitor, and when you see areas that were once crooked that are now straight, it just reminds you of why we went on this journey in the first place. The other side uh, high that I didn't expect was weight loss, to actually not snack uh, like I used to, in, the, in 52 weeks I've lost over a stone, just purely through Invisalign. The lows. You can't have highs without lows, but to be honest there haven't really been that many lows. Yeah, you know, there of course there's times when uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable, um, and there's times when you're, you're quite self-conscious of, of having aligners in your mouth. There are times when you don't want to have to think about whether, whether or not you can have a snack. You know, I think when, when the treatment's over I'm going to be uh, probably piling all the weight back on. But with each week's aligner change, the discomfort can last for a few days. And sometimes if it's, if it's your rear molars that have, that have moved, then you you'll definitely will find um, that there's some discomfort when you're chewing and that, that's, that's tough. So yeah, so those, uh, those steak meals and, and, uh, and the like, they, are, uh, they can be problematic. But when you do get those few days of discomfort, you know that the, the aligners are doing their job. That is the key thing, is that when you can feel the movement, when you can feel the discomfort, you're feeling the movement. And that movement is ultimately what we want, isn't it? Another low would be talking with a little bit of a lisp. Um, I don't have my aligners in right now, so I'll do a little tongue twister and see how it compares. Sister Susie sat on the seashore sewing shirts to sailors. So that's me without them in. Now I'll put them in. Ready? Sister Susie... <laughs> Sister Susie sat on the seashore sewing shirts for sailors. Sister Susie sat on Sis, Sister Susie sat on the seashore sewing shirts for sailors. So as you can see, a little bit of a lisp there. Not that bad, is it? <laughs> I've had my treatment now for 365 days, so for me the daily routine is just autopilot, really. For those of you that have been inspired by my journey or that are um, looking to get your own treatment, um, it'll be great to hear from you. 
Uh, it's always good to hear, to hear from those that are going through the same thing. Um, let's make this our little community. Comment below um, where you are in your Invisalign thoughts or where you are in your progress. So just reading a few of your comments from previously. Linda Kaplan says, hello Rob, hi Melinda. Um, I've just started my Invisalign journey. I'm on trade two. Uh, and yes, my teeth hurt and are very sensitive, even though I use Sensodyne toothpaste always. I love to snack, but I'm tired of taking out all the time, so I just don't. Um, I'm 52, so I'm also a late starter. I had my first trait in, in two weeks, and then I went to my dentist, and she decided to put me on once a week. I'm afraid because I have seen, because I seem to have at least three days of pain. Any advice? Linda, that's absolutely the norm for Invisalign. In, in my experience, uh, three days of pain is, is what happens for the first three days of movement. Um, your teeth are moving against bone and that's, there's gonna be some discomfort there for sure, 100%, um, but it's worth it, so stick with it, it's fine. Uh, Alicia's Evolution says, can we have an update please? They look great, thank you. Um, I'm thinking about getting them to a new sub high Alicia, thanks for subbing. Um, yes, uh, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Um, I, my only regret is that I didn't do it earlier. I'm 50 now um, and on train I'm 50. But, um, but yeah, it's, uh, if I could afford it to, I mean, you know, it's not cheap and I've done, I've done mine over a 24 month um, payment plan. Um, but um, but it, it's, uh, it's something I wish I had done years ago, for sure. And Sandy Nell says, uh, you have a radio voice. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Uh, that will be my um, years of experience doing local radio. I guess it just hasn't quite gone away. So my next video will be my rescan at the orthodontist. So I will uh, look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, here is my journey so far. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.